What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install EUP Law and Order, EUP Menu, and EUP Serve and Rescue. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. <laughs> God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that they're fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys, uh, yeah I've been doing these tutorials back to back all week long and uh, here we are now. We're going to be installing EUP 8.1, uh, EUP Law and Order 8.1, the EUP Menu and the EUP Serve and Rescue. So, I know a few of you um, have been asking me about this. A lot of you actually have actually asked me about this. So, here we go, guys. Uh, the links are in the description below, guys. Go ahead. Sorry about that, guys and girls. Mountain Dew talking to me. Go ahead and click that. Click. Go ahead and click that. <laughs> go ahead and click that link down there that says EUP Law and Order. I think it says EUP Law and Order. Should say that. Emergency Uniforms Pack, Law and Order 8.1. So, we're not going to waste any time, guys. Let's scroll on down. And uh, don't pay no attention to this right here. This is the last version. Just go ahead and click that green download button. This is download this file. We're going to click on that. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, again, guys, I will be in the Discord general discussion today. I'll be in the general discussion of the Discord today between 4 o'clock and 4.30. So, if any of you want to come in and chat with me, come on in there. We'd love to have you. I don't know why I feel like I always got to do this, guys. I'm so sorry I have to do that. I don't know why. All right, what do you want to do with the EUP Law and Order 8.1.RAR? Well, guys, as always, you can click Save here, and it'll go directly to your Downloads folder, or you can click Save As and put it in a destination of your choice. All right, so now that we've got that, go ahead and click the next link that says EUP Menu 2.2.1.0, guys. So this is your menu that actually pulls it up into the game, all right? Had a lot of questions about this, about what the default key is for the EUP menu. When you go into game, your default key is F11. That pulls up your menu, okay? But we'll get to that. Go ahead and click download this file right there. Okay, click agree and download. There we go. All right, what do you want to do with EUP re menu release 2.210? We're going to save it to our downloads folder or save as and put it where you want, okay? All right, so right on to the next thing, guys. Click that last link that says uh, EUP Serve and Rescue, uh, and it's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. See, this is your firefighter outfits, your medic outfits. It's even got um, postal outfits. Um, it's got lifeguard outfits, it's got security guard outfits, it's pretty cool guys, I really, I, I use serve and rescue a lot actually. So let's scroll on down, click download this file as always. Guys, this is a very easy install, there's not much to it, it just takes a little bit of a, of a Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and some open IV, that's all it takes, alright. But it's not a hard install, it's very, very simple. Very simple. Alright, what do you want to do with EUP Serve and Rescue 1.3.RAR? Again, guys, save it to your downloads or save as and put it in a destination of your choice. Alright, so now that we've got those downloaded, I'm going to close out of that. Um, okay, guys, so first of all, don't pull that up yet. First of all, um, like I said, it's a very simple download. It's not going to take us long. And uh, I'm going to go into the game with you guys, just show you the basics of how EUP works and how you pull up your menu and what you're supposed to do and all that, which when really, it's just really self-explanatory. Um, you know, when you pull the menu up, you'll know exactly what to do. But I'm going to go into the game and show you guys, um, you know, just very briefly how to, how to work the EUP menu. So let's go ahead and open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, you want to open that first. And then double click on that EUP Law and Order 8.1 right there. Okay. Let me get mine pulled up. And it's going to bring you this right here. You got a plugins folder and an EUP OIV file. Okay. You, you guys already know that OIV means open IV file. Okay. But the first thing we're going to do, guys, 
is we're going to grab this EUP Law & Order right here, and we're going to drag it right down to our desktop and drop it just like that, okay? It'll take just a few seconds, and then you'll see a little white file type thing pop up right there it is, guys. See? All right, so now that we got that, go ahead and grab your plugins folder. Scroll down in your directory right above the GTA5.exe. We're going to install right in this area. Grab that plugins, guys. Pull it over. Drag it. And three, two, one, drop. Okay? Now, that should be your EUP folder right there. And inside of it should say presetoutfits.ini. Okay? That's what it should say. So go ahead and close out of your WinRAR. Right click that and delete that shortcut. Now, if you guys want to go up here, actually, we'll wait to do that. We'll wait to do that. Just wait. Just wait. Okay? But go ahead and refresh your GTA 5 main directory. All right? Go ahead and leave your directory up, guys. Um, and then, let's see. Um, go ahead and, yes, let's go ahead and minimize our directory. Pull up our open IV. All right? Make sure you are in edit mode. Okay? We're fixing to install this right here, guys, the EUP Law & Order. See that? We're going to install that. So go ahead, make sure you're in edit mode. Go to Tools. Go down to Package Installer. Okay. And be sure that you are on the correct desktop, the one that's under this PC right there. There is your EUP Law & Order right there. Double-click it. Okay. EUP Law & Order 8.1. Click Install. Okay, make sure you put it into your mods folder, guys. No game folder at all. It will mess up everything, and you have to start all over. Okay, trust me. Put this into your mods folder. Click mods folder. Click this right here, which says install, confirm installation. All right, and EUP Law and Order is now installing. I don't really think there's a specific order you have to do this in. Um, I mean, to me, I think we could go ahead and install all the plugins that's in the mods themselves and then install the law and order and serve and rescue because i've done it like that i'm just taking you guys step by step here to keep from going back and forth you know but but uh that's you know i don't think there's a specific order in which you have to install eup all right installation succeeded if you got that hit close if not you might want to go back and try it again uh go ahead and click edit mode once more minimize your winrar guys go ahead and delete this right here that eup file this one right here, the one I clicked on, see that? Delete that. All right. Pull your GTA 5 main directory back up and make sure you're down by the GTA 5.exe. Double click that EUP menu, guys. All right. It's going to pull this up right here. And all you're going to do is double click files. All right. Now, do not install this Rage Native UI.dll because remember, guys, we have been installing Bajojo mods. And the Bajojo mods has the Rage Native UI.dll in there that is the most recent version of the Rage Native UI.dll. This is an old version, so do not install this Rage Native UI.dll. If you do, you're going to have to go back and get another, uh, another Rage Native UI.dll that's more recent and put it back in your main directory. Just saving you the trouble, guys, okay? Go ahead and grab that plugins folder only. Do not touch this one. Grab the plugins folder only, guys. This will be your EUP.dll. Grab it, drag it, and drop it right there. Okay? That should say EUPmenu.dll. Right there it is. Okay? Now, go ahead and close out of that WinRAR. Right click and delete that shortcut for the menu. Go ahead and double. Uh, let's see. Refresh. Go ahead and refresh your. Um, your main directory here for a minute minimize it okay because we're going to pull it back up i'm going to show you guys something uh and double click that serve and rescue right there guys going to bring this up right here see that eup snr 1.30 iv grab that drag it to your desktop and drop it just like that okay so now we're going to be installing the eup serve and rescue close out of your winrar right click and delete that shortcut, guys. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Almost done. Now, uh, go ahead and pull back up your um, open IV. Make sure you are in edit mode. All right. And then go to tools. Go to package installer. 
Make sure you click the desktop that's under this PC. There's your serve and rescue. Double click it. Sup. Serve and rescue 1.3. <laughs> Uh, it cracks me up every time I see that. Alright guys, uh, click install. <laughs> Remember guys, put this into your mods folder. Click mods folder. <laughs> and then click install, confirm installation. Okay. You, I don't know why they named it SUP. But I have to say it like that. It's just so funny. SUP. Oh man, I crack me up sometimes. I really do. I hope you guys are having a great day. All right, guys, there it is. It is successfully installed. So if you got that message right there, installation succeeded, go ahead and close. If not, go back, and you might want to try it again. Click edit mode once more. Close out of your open IV. Uh, open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory again. Okay, guys? And then uh, here's what I want you to do, because I'm going to show you guys where those, those mods went to, those plugins for EUP. So... We had an EUP folder that had presettings.ini and an EUP menu.dll, okay? So double click that plugins folder right there. Double click that one. Right here, guys. See, there's your EUP menu.dll. And if you double click this EUP folder, there's a preset outfits right there. That's your I and I. Do you can go into it, okay? But I highly recommend you leave all this alone. Do not touch anything. This is all your outfits. If you go changing this to 2, changing that to 9, it's going to mess everything up, guys. Just leave it the way it is, okay? Trust me. Trust me on that, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you guys that it was in there. Um, so go back to the main directory on the main page of the main directory. Click refresh. Close out of your main directory. And then I'm going to take you guys in the game for just a few minutes. It's going to be very brief and show you guys how this EUP Also, works. guys, before we launch, I just want to tell you, when you go to launch, make sure we're going to launch this by the Rage Settings box, okay? Because you have to load EUP by Rage Settings, okay? So we're going to, on the, at the same time, on the count of three, we're going to click Rage and then immediately hold down the Shift key, the left Shift key, until rage pops up okay so one two three click rage hold down left shift key just keep holding it keep holding it keep holding it because you have to you got to load the eup menu through the rage settings box okay so let's go on over to plugins make this as quick as possible go down to load these plugins on startup right there as you can see eup is in the box just go ahead and check all guys if you've been following my tutorials and you should have everything i have right here okay all right, then go back up and click load all plugins on startup. And then after that, you guys are free to click save and launch. And I will see you guys inside the game. All right, guys. So in the game, guys. Uh, so default key for your uh, EUP menu, law and order and serve and rescue is F11. So push your F11. It's going to bring that menu up right here now. I'm going to leave this completely up to you guys. See that where it says characters? You can create your character if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um, however, I'm not going to because the character that I create on LSPFR, I intend on keeping him. So if you went through all that trouble of creating a character with me on the very first installation process of installing LSPFR, and I'm assuming that you did, um... I just wouldn't waste my time on creating a character unless you just want to. It's completely up to you. Alright? But here's how you do it, guys. Down here, this is your wardrobe. This is where you uh, save your outfits, okay, and edit them. So you can go to Law & Order, for example. I'm going to go down to one of my favorite outfits here. If I can find it. Uh, right here, Task Force. Yep, this is one of my favorite outfits. One of them. Or let me go back. Let me actually try it here. I think it's actually... Um, okay, so this is your lifeguard outfits. Like down by the, your lifeguard stuff. Down by the beach and all that. There's your park ranger. Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Is this the one that's got the... This is the one that's... Okay, there's the one I was referring to right there. Okay, so I'm going to pick this outfit right here, guys. Okay, and I'm going to edit him a little bit, alright? So let me exit out and 
zoom out just a little bit. There we go. That's a lot better. I want. I got to be able to see his pants and his shoes. So let me go back into the menu. Now let me just. Let's just say I'm going to save this outfit, which I'm going to. I'm going to go to wardrobe. I'm going to create outfit. Now right there, you can name it. I'm going to name this cop one because I'm going to have several cop outfits. It's cop one, probably all the way through 25. All right. Now his hat, right there is his hat. Now if you want to um, do this by keyboard to change the textures of the hat, let me get him a little closer to the camera. If you want to change the textures of his hat, use the four and the six on your number keypad. Four will go left, six will go right. See that, so you can change the texture of his hat. Look at the camera, my man has some respect. All right, so I'm gonna leave his hat like that. Glasses. Uh, use your arrows to go down and then of course your six to uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry about that use the arrows again right and left to select your glasses look at the camera my man has some respect all right so we definitely don't want those glasses <laughs> I usually always pick the aviators and then your four and six is your textures okay so I'm gonna go back with four and pick those glasses right there and then if you go on down here, you can select your earpiece, which I kind of like the one he's got in. All right. On down, you can put watches on your character. See that guy's how it's putting a watch on his wrist right there. You can also change the textures of your watch if you like. It's completely up to you. I, however, don't normally use watches. I do once in the blue moon, I'll put a watch on my character. And if you want, you can change the textures of that, but there's not very many to it. There's only this, that one good one. But there is some actually nice looking watches in there. Like, I, I kind of like that one right there. Like, I like that one. That one's really nice. Especially with that type of color. Uh, the, the band of it. See how it kind of matches my, um, my, my uh, clip holsters on my belt. See how it matches that. So, you can do pretty much anything you want. Just, yeah, you know, I'm going to take my watch off of him. And then we're going to go back down. Uh, upper uh, mask, of course. Um mask is self-explanatory so kind of like know what the mask is what it's all about it's like stuff like that it's, just, it's a mask it's what it is okay and you can also change the textures of that as well see just like this change the textures that might be good for winter time keep them warm okay so let's take that off of him because that was kind of weird that takes his earpiece off too uh and takes his hair out i don't like that but anyway go down to upper skin would you turn this way my man uh, upper skin is going to be like your arm stuff. Oh my god, where's my arms? Okay, I got them back. Good. <laughs> pants. You guys know what the pants are. I'm actually going to put him in some khakis. Because I think he looks good with... Um, let me back him up a little bit so I can see him a little better. I think he personally looks good in uh, some khakis. With this particular outfit. I like the blue jeans, but I like the khakis a lot better. Uh, the cargoes, those look like they might be it right there. Actually, there's the cargoes right there. So there is my khakis. I really, really, really like those khakis. Uh, they got some black ones? That matches shirt. That would at least match the shirt. Yeah. Oh, there's some black ones. Those look, those look really nice, actually. They look really nice. But the uh, regular khaki color. See, they got camo and all that good stuff. They got all kinds of stuff, guys. Tons of stuff in here that you can choose from. See that? So... Uh, but you can just go through it yeah, like that, that and then not just there's the green khakis. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stick with those. Go down a parachute. You can put a parachute Sweet. in your guy if you want to, out. like that. See, but I prefer not to have one. Shoes. You can change your shoes if you like. Just like that right there with your arrows. Um, and, of course, if you want to change the texture, it's four and six to change the texture just like that. Oh, I need to go back one. Is it back one or up one? Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Make sure the gun's back on. There we go. Okay. Sorry. I just about messed that up. There we go. That's the shoes I wanted. You can change the textures of the shoes, you know, like that. Um, but I'm going to just kind of leave them black the way they are. I like that color. And, uh, of course, accessories. You guys just seen what that did. That puts a gun on him. You can actually change the accessories on him uh, where he can have a pistol on his side. See the pistol on his side right there? That's actually, uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'm using my keyboard and mouse here, guys. Total keyboard and mouse going on right now. Uh, you can put a little cute bow tie on him if you want to. See the little bow tie? Isn't that cute? It is cute, man. So let's go on down here. Uh, but pretty much, guys, you know what I'm trying to say here. 
This is all accessories. I'm going to take the gun off his vest and put it on his side. I think it looks a little more realistic, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to go down an undercoat. Uh, that's his badge. Stuff like that. But I'm going to leave his badge on his chest. I think it looks good right there. Of course, there's his armor. You can change his armor with your four and your six. Just like that. See, I think that police looks really good. But I do like that green sheriff. That looks really nice, too. The FIB, the green police. Uh, whatever called it, olive green or whatever it is we're gonna leave it just like that decals is like your patches on the sides of your arms and stuff like this see that now you got you gotta be careful because see how some of them do see see how it's kind of like sticking off his shirt there see that now it's kind of like sticking off his shirt yeah like so, so some of them don't work too good um, now like the marine patches see how they don't work too good either if the marine patches would work, I would wear them just because I support the military, just because I support our troops and stuff. But um, they just don't work. I can't find an outfit. If I ever find an outfit for them to work on, I will wear that outfit because I support our troops and our veterans 100%, man. I support Israel. All right, so let's go on down. And then right here, okay, on top. So that's obviously your, uh, your shirt there. All right, you can change the texture of your shirt. Think that's pretty cool, man. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with the EP. That's why it's such a, a cool mod to have. All right, so we're gonna leave it as sheriff, and then I was trying to remember the way to change his. Um, is it accessories? Let me just go through my. What, what number was that? With the gun on the side, number 123. Okay, let me just go through his accessories here real quick, guys, and just let me check something real quick. Just bear with me. Because I like it for him to have his stun gun on his side, like in the front of his pants. You know what I'm talking about, guys, where it shows the stun gun and all that good stuff? I think that that uh, accessory set looks pretty good. And I'm trying to find it, but I don't think that's the... I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. I don't think that's it. Okay, there's the gun on the leg. Right there, that one looks pretty cool too. Yeah, that one looks. That one, you know what? I think we'll actually keep the one on his leg. But I was trying to remember what it was I used to put the stun gun on his belt. Um, I think it might have been. Uh, no, it wasn't armor, because armor. If you change his armor, you can actually change the armor and go up. There's where you get the police vest right there. If you're like doing, uh, you know, police work in the road and stuff. What is that hanging off the back? Oh, it's part of the badge. And you can change that as well, see, to traffic officer, sheriff, highway patrol. You know, so it's it's pretty cool, man. Like, I really dig this mod. I dig all these mods. I always say that. But if you go on up to, um, where, is it, where is it at, armor? See, uh, right there, 15. Number 15 is his... Uh, is his walkie talking center of says if you go back to 14 it puts it up on his shoulder and he'll you know he always talks to on that side of his shoulder so it makes it more realistic although it's not hooked to anything which is why i was trying to figure out how to put the stun gun on the front of his belt because that has the cb on the side of it where this cord connects to so anyway we're going to go back to the armor we had wherever that might have been oh look there's the it's in armor what do you know looky there it's in armor hmm now they got two different ones though so let me go back to that police vest is this the one yeah that's it all right so now when you're done doing what you got to do go down and click save and continue and then you have your outfit right there guys now serve and rescue has got a bunch of stuff this is like your um this is like your uh firefighter outfits okay there's a firefighter outfit there's an emt outfit right there um, and then you, of course, you have your wintertime ENT outfits. I mean, it's just all pretty cool. Now, this one down here is really cool. The security, because this is a security guard outfit. It's really awesome. So you can do, like, walk-around security. Or what I normally do is I take this outfit right here. I take his hat off, put a different hat on him, uh, and then, you know, put a security card in the game, and I'll change his gun on the side a little bit to where it's in a little further. Because it looks like his arm's going through his gun or his gun's going through his arm or whatever. But uh, they also have a male bouncer in here. That's pretty cool looking. I had somebody ask me the day about secret services. Somebody was wanting to do secret services. Um, I know who it was. It was true. 
True Uprising, he asked me, somebody had asked him about doing a Secret Service outfit. And if you're watching um, the guy that was asking True about that, this right here is going to be as close to Secret Service as you get because this is a VIP security outfit. So he's kind of got the earpiece and he's kind of got the suit going on. So he does kind of look like Secret Service. There's your Secret Service guy right there. It's under... Um, it is under Serve and Rescue, Security, and under Mail VIP Security right there. So, but anyway, you guys got these security guys. But it's just a bunch of different options, guys. I'm not going to go over every little thing. We'll be here for hours. Anyway, guys, um, you know what? Let me put my guy in the outfit. He looks a lot more legit like that. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. So, we have successfully installed EUP. Uh, today, we dig into the Open IV mods. And uh, we got to install Radiance, and we got to install the Kill Flam replacement. Sorry about that, guys. Got to install the Kill Flam replacement, and now we have installed EUP, guys. Coming up next, I'm not too sure. I'm really, I know what I'm going to install, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to surprise you. Okay, guys? So thank you for tuning in, guys. I'll leave all my links in the description below. I'll leave my Twitter, my Instagram. Come join my Discord to hang out, chit-chat. I'm going to be in the general discussion today from 4 o'clock until 4.30. Um, chit chatting with everybody that gives everybody an opportunity to talk to me and ask me questions or whatever you want to say um, you know so if you guys are interested in talking to me personally in the discord and I, I respond to everybody come in and join my discord guys come in there I'll be in the general discussion from 4 to 4 30 today uh, guys I also got my uh, Pharma Simulator 17 and 19 tutorials down there I have these new updated LSPFR tutorial links down there and the other LSPFR tutorial links down there as well, guys. Also, guys, don't forget my PayPal link is down there. If you guys could throw a few dollars my way, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys. I would appreciate that just as much as I appreciate your likes and your comments and your views on my channel and your love and support, guys. All right? So until next video, until next time, until next tutorial, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.